Okay, this is um, Power BI uh, workspace. Well, it's not the workspace; it's the, uh, the the tenant in in my development um, tenant on my development tenant, and um, we're going to deploy a paginated report here. So, the first thing we need is a workspace. Now, this can't be any workspace. It has to be a premium workspace and we're using a premium per user license to achieve this. So let's get to it now. I had to create workspace and let's go. Right, let's create a workspace. And we'll call it paginated reporting without spelling errors And we've got the premium per user option set. Now, it's important to... Oh, no, I should look at... Premium per user is, 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 I think, the only thing you really need here. We'll, we'll, um, we'll create one and we'll see how we go. And we have it. Now, the next thing we need is a report. Now, in here... This, this is where the, the planner reporting um, app lives um, and this is its deployed version. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect a report to this data set and publish it in this um, workspace. So. Now this is a a report that I've just copied over from the other environment, and by the other environment, that's that's a different login on a different machine. So as you can see, we haven't run the report builder here very much. So we'll. Um, Now the report build is a free app, you just download it from the store, so um, no great drama there. Okay, we'll just skip this bit now. First thing we need to do Let's get this aligned with our window here. Yeah, first thing we need to do is to assign the data source. So we'll do that. And it's going to ask us to log in because we haven't been here before. So we'll, go, we'll try, let's see if I can remember my login.
Well, there you go. There's the deployed one. I just renamed this one so we uh, didn't have to... But there's the report, OK? Let's go for it. And we'll just make sure that it's actually doing something. So... And it's taking its time here, but oh, here we go. And so let's do a couple of people. Um, and we'll just uh, view the report. That was pretty good. But we're not going to view it here. What we really want to do is do a publish. So we'll do that and we'll publish to the Power BI service. This is what you need. Paginated report. Um, this one for. So um, we'll give it a name. to publish there we go Do the ones that I know have got some. Now there's a couple of things here. Um, this report um, is viewable in Excel. It's a PDF um, and a few other options. Um, And it can be printed. If you want to um, edit this, and, and if you if you were doing, or say you were doing a, a report for Adelaide, um, I would um, export it to DocX or PDF, and then just highlight the bits that you might be concerned about. Um, I won't show you how to do that. I'm sure you can figure that out yourself. Um, now printing um, and we'll just give the quick example of this um, I look at now the report itself I actually made it letter size but this thing's decided that, that, that it wants to do an A4 um, so uh, but um, let's do a preview and see if it'll fit on the page There you go, it's all on one page. So this, and this report doesn't even have page numbers. It's very simple. It's, it's just designed to put one or two people on a page and you can print it and write on it. So um, it's, um, it's deliberately quite low tech. Um, but this is the sort of thing that you can, you can use at a meeting. So um, that's about it let's um let's just go back to our workspace here and you can see that and um okay that'll do